Hello, I'm Stan, Alpha Echo 7 Uniform Tango. I uh, live in Nephi, Utah, and I wanted to show you two antennas that I use. Uh, the first is a 05, uh, 10 through 40 ground plane vertical, and then a off-center fed dipole that's cut for 75 meters. Um, and I uh, wanted to show you those and then demonstrate them on my rigs and uh, see what you think about the difference between the two. I'm going to try to show both a, the 3905 Century Club and uh, some of the contacts that I make there and then also just some CW uh, that I'm just getting into. Uh, so off to the antennas. Uh, the first one is my off-center fed dipole. and. That's actually it right there, if you can see it. Uh, it's actually very non-conspicuous. And uh, I'm going to move down and closer towards it to see if you can see it. I've got it behind a couple of trees. Uh, those are the radials. Each one of the radials go out about eight feet, um, hidden behind the trees right there. And then the, the antenna itself goes up to the top. It's kind of a windy day. You can see it moving around a little bit. You may be able to even see one of the uh, one of the uh, wire wires that I have holding it down into the ground. I um, have to also show you off my bees. That's a little beehive that I have right next to the area where the antenna is. And again, the antenna sitting right up here. With all the bees flying around, it's kind of fun. Let's move into the back. <laughs> One of the bees just uh, decided I got a little too close to the hive and had to hit me in the head to show me they didn't want me there. So this is the antenna from the other side. I've got it on a 10 foot piece of um, aluminum conduit. And I, I truly believe that you could put it just as well on uh, the metal conduit that you can buy just at any store. I, I put it on aluminum, but the only reason I did that was because I was interested in going higher than 11 feet. There's the the ballon right there, and then I'm running it with uh, some LMR 400. I'll go down to the base. This is a a special base that Tom from Zero Five built for me because I was planning on using this without any type of uh, guy wires and he built a base that I would be able to run it without the guy wires and I decided instead you can see I've got a, a guy ring right there and three guy wires that run down to uh, just small stakes that I've put in the ground anyhow that's the that's the 05 1040 ground plane vertical in a nutshell. And then over here, I'm going to start with, it's actually hooked to a fence on my backyard, in the backyard here. I've got just held up at about six feet, starting right here. I've just got some rope that's extending to my off center fed dipole that goes up there. An off center fed dipole is up at about 35 feet. We'll get up close and personal to that next. As you can tell, the end of this actually right here um, with the uh, little insulators that come with it, that's up at about 10 feet right there. 10 feet and then goes along over to the pole that I have in the ground. 
We'll go over there in just a second. This is the uh, what I'm using right now. I've actually just got a um, just put into the ground a pipe, and this is an old uh, push-up that I got when I bought my first end, my first rig a couple of years ago, and then it goes up 35 feet to the top right there. And that's that. What I'm using to suspend that and actually kind of guy it is a, a G5RV Junior that goes down here to the fence on this side. If you can see, I've got it roped up there. There's the insulator, and then it goes up to about the 30 foot mark on it. And above that is the uh, off-center fed dipole. And then that goes down to this side of the house right there and that's the other side. And there's my other beehive. You gotta have bees if you're gonna have uh, ham radio, right? And you can see the bees are real active today because it's a nice warm day out here in in Nephi. Okay, and that's, and there's the other antenna again, off at a distance. Now I'll let you guys see how they perform. This is the 05 antenna in about 20 to 30 mile an hour winds today. It's pretty windy. And uh, this is what the antenna looks like. Hope this picks that up on the camera. The antenna has been doing this for over a year now, and uh, when it's not windy, sends up as straight as can be, and looks really nice.